Hello, my name is Stephanie Contreras and um, I am actually making this video so you can get to know who I am. So I'll start with, my name is actually Stephanie Joan Contreras. I do have a middle name and I know that's just a little tiny fun fact, but I really wanted to share this video and really give you an insight of who I am and why I have become the person I've become. I think um, a story says a million words and just like I want to share with you my journey and where I started, where I came from. So this is actually something I love to share all the time is that I was actually born in a car. Okay, so um, I like to say that I was born um, early. Well, I was born two weeks early from when I was expected and I was born in a car because they weren't expecting me. And so my parents were in Mexico and they actually had to cross the border so that I could be born in the United States so I wouldn't be born in Mexico because that would have made me a Mexican citizen and so I am an American citizen because I was born in Chula Vista and um, it's just that was the first blessing I think that my parents could have blessed me with but I am um, a sister I have one older brother who is also an entrepreneur and so um, I'll start with that though. My my mom and dad are um, just amazing people. They are very hardworking people. I am very blessed that they are still happen, happily married for a very long time now. Um, I believe it's gonna be yeah about 36, 36, 37 years. And um, so part of how I am so ambitious is definitely seeing them work very hard. And I've been thinking of how I'm gonna share this, but a lot of people probably don't know. I mean. I'm sure I don't know where you live and most people unless they're in my family lineage don't really know you know a lot about how I grew up but basically my father has been a contractor um, from before when I was born but his license for our construction company his first license um, when we were a sole proprietor actually was accepted in the state two days before I was born. So I like to say he has two 29 year olds because I'm 29 right now, but that company started two days before I was born. So it's as old as me. And as I age, it'll age too, in case you see this video much later. But I wanted to show you my home because part of being in construction allowed me to see so much. And you can see the beautiful boulders here, but this is a little bit of the blessing that I got to see come up. And so it is a very big house of a huge balcony that I'm sitting on that is my balcony and um, I mean it's it's just something that can kind of give you just a little explanation it is night right now I chose to do this video um, mostly because I've been putting this off and so what else I wanted to share was yeah what do I do who am I why should you follow me what do I have to offer number one is yes I grew up in the construction industry with my father I um, started working well I'll tell you like from the beginning when I started working I started working at the age of 16 because I got a work permit um, I decided to work part-time and it was actually only seasonal because they didn't keep me I was still in high school I worked at anchor blue and you know I felt folded clothes and I I got the job. I mean, it was it was a great experience, but again, I was in high school, so they let me go after the season of summer ended. And then I actually graduated early from high school. I've always been Miss Strategy, Miss Put It Together, know which way I'm going, know how I'm going, and it gets people mad sometimes, but I think it's worked for my life. And um, when I was in high school, um, I did. I decided to graduate early so I could start college faster. And so I graduated six months early and started college. But as soon as I graduated, I found myself a job. I was 17, still had my work permit, but I was now had more free time than being locked up in high school. So what I did is I started working at Subway. And at Subway, I mean, yes, I made sandwiches and it was a really great time to meet people for me. I was young, um, I was driven to like work hard and I was one of those that loved to mop and sweep and make sure that you know, everything was spotless and, and you know, I'm still like that till this day. And, um, but after that job, I was in college during that time. So as my schedule was shifting, I was shifting jobs because I needed a schedule that would work for me. So my next job was working at a Hilton Garden Inn and I was a server. 
So that's the upgrade for me because I was now able to make tips. And um, I'm so grateful for all of my managers that have given me these opportunities. I think I can tell you every job that I've had, I've loved. It's really been such a great experience to just grow in everything. And that's one of my mindsets is that like, I just love everything I do. If I don't like it, I'm just not gonna do it long enough. And I just feel like I come into things knowing I'm gonna give this my all and I'm gonna find a good attitude to be in it. Now, I didn't last too long in these jobs. I think my subway job was 10 months. My um, server job was only about seven months. And then I actually started my own business at the age of 19, I was a tutor, a math tutor to be specific. Um, I've always loved numbers, always been really great at it. And um, in college, I studied business. And so as I was studying, when I transitioned from, I went to Pasadena City College, I was working a job as a tutor at the math center. So I started there and then I got the idea to actually go and post signs at my college and I can tell you from the beginning, I've always had a little bit of fear to do things. And a friend of mine, she actually passed away and she was a beautiful woman. Her name was Jessica Moreno. And um, she was like, what are you afraid of? I'll go with you. And so I've always, always, always have had support. And I still, you know, may her soul rest in peace because she really helped me. I mean, I started my own business at the age of 19 because she was like, let's go post those signs. I'll post them for you. And I did, I would get calls and um, I would charge $20 an hour for a two hour minimum. And I would have six to eight hours a day. I was making a lot of money for a 19 year old, just working my three to five days and done, you know, for, it was just amazing. I could work 25 hours and make more than a lot of people were making at the time because I was make, used to making $8 an hour at the time. That was a minimum wage. So that was me at 19. And then I transitioned from Pasadena City College to Azusa Pacific University, which is where I got my bachelor's and master's from in business administration. And when I went to APU, because I had gone to PCC, I had made sure that I had two and a half years of credits so I only did a year and a half at, at my bachelor's, which is a really smart decision because I paid less, same education. And then I did choose to do a master's because I found a one year master's that APU was doing and it was to travel to seven different countries with the program. And on the way, since I was already on the other side of the world, I got to travel to three other different countries, which I did on my own. So I have traveled a lot and that's why I talk about lifestyle, which is a big thing for me. And um, so I'll, I'll keep going with um, when I was at, when I was transitioning from PCC over to um, Sousa Pacific, my father was starting to develop and grow a lot where he needed a lot of help. And I started to work with him. And so I became his secretary. And so I wasn't, I wasn't um, independent with my tutoring very long. It's probably only a year. I actually don't remember how long it was, but I was always doing it on the side. And, um, but I transitioned to APU, I stopped doing it. So I only did it when I was at PCC. Anyways, from there I worked with my dad and when I worked with my dad, when I started traveling, that's when I hired my very first assistant, which is, was a good friend of mine. And uh, she helped me grow and she helped me even, you know, be able to take time off and she would take care of the whole office. And from there, you know, I've had other people work here in the office, but I decided to do a Nagic full time at the age of like 22, which was right after I graduated from Azusa Pacific with my master's. Um, it took me about a year. Yeah, when I went, when I went 23. And so Enagic, however, has been in the background. I, I've been like, I skipped all over it. Um, even before I was a tutor, my parents had already joined Enagic. And um, by the way, this goes way back. Like, you know, we've always just been focused on grind, grind, grind. Like if there's anything I can sit here and talk about for a really long time is how much we work. And what I can tell you is, um, my parents started taking me around network marketing when I was 13. And Enagic came into my life when I was 18, which is 11, almost 11 years now. And um, so in the first two years, I decided I did not wanna be a part of King and Water because I didn't believe in it. And then I heard doctors talk about it. 
So at the age of 20, I started presenting. So that's how I have my presentation skills because of Enagic and that's why I preach. Get into network marketing, become a presenter. And you know, so that went on for about, it went on for about three years. And from there, from there, I decided to um, take it on full time. And after I did four years full time into the business, um, I actually went through a, like my own economic downfall and I decided to come back to my parents' home. And after a year of seeing how the construction company had been uh, just really like there was not enough management happening to move things fast enough and there was really no vision towards where things were going um, I decided to come back and this is really big for me like this part of my life was very difficult went through a lot of stuff and um, I decided like the only thing that I could continue using to make me better was getting into fitness and um, so that's where my whole fitness journey begins too right around I'm not sure right when I moved back into my parents' house. And um, I went pro, I had all the support that I needed. And from there, um, I can just tell you that um, just recently, which was in the year of 2020 during COVID, <laughs> is when I decided to start my new business and fitness coaching. Um, I started the fitness coaching because I asked my coach if I could support him in building his brand because I was just so grateful and um, somebody had asked me online if I could ha if I could coach them. And I said, I'm not gonna say no to the opportunity. Like I know everything I need to know. I know what I did. I know how I can help people. You know, numbers make so much sense to me. Everything is numbers when it comes to meals and planning and you know, building a body. Like sure, it's not that simple, but you know, as an athlete, you start picking up a lot of things. And you know, as I've been working with my clients, all of them have lost weight all of them have been very happy and I've had people jump off and jump back on and I'm so grateful because I know they trust me and um, it's just magical what it is to hire a coach and so I wanted to do this video so that I can give you an idea of who I am and you know why I would say that you should hire a coach because I've done it my whole career um, I've actually just watched people from a distance like as you're watching this video. So I'll be posting more so you guys can continue to follow. But I wanted to post this for you to know who I am, um, my story, where I began. And um, from here, I mean, the Business Fitness Forum is now available for anyone who's looking to get that support to build their business, to build their fitness life or to build their bodies. And um, I just believe that that's what impacts your mindset. It impacts your relationships. It impacts your future. And um, I'm here to help people get the right mindset, put the right strategies together, and create the lifestyle that they've always desired to live. And I can tell you that that's what I've been doing and creating for myself in my life. And is there breakdowns? Every time there's breakdowns, but it's all about how fast you pick yourself up and so here I am starting something new to keep me going. And it has been such an inspiration to just see all the love and support. And so I believe I am loved and supported. And um, I do believe in just whatever you believe you will achieve and whatever you believe you will also attract. So make sure you believe systems, right? Your mindset is exactly where it needs to be. And um, I think if that's the big nugget that I wanna leave you with is everything that I have, I'm just so grateful for it, all the good, all the bad the ugly and the beautiful and you know of course we know things that lie ahead that we can't you know plan for but we can always just be prepared to respond and react in the best way possible so make sure that you know you're working on yourself and that's why I'm here and I hope that you continue to follow again you can follow me on Instagram at Miss Kangan Girl my name is Stephanie Contreras so you can find me social media on Facebook, YouTube, and I believe LinkedIn as well. Um, I do have somebody who's helping me do all of my marketing. And so I hope you guys are loving it. I'm loving everything and how it's all coming out. And so we will be talking about strategies just like that, how you can hire the right person, put it all together, and um, how to have successful businesses. And so I'm here to grow with you guys. I don't know it all, but I've got experience in traditional business with the construction. I've got experience with network marketing because of Enagic. 
And now I'm building even my own business to support other people. So I know that my growth is endless and so is yours. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video and get to know me. Stephanie Contreras. Have a great day, okay? Bye-bye.